But hey, my friend, this video is for you. Once I upload it on YouTube and send it to you, I'm going to take it off my YouTube channel. Um, I'm, and I'm just because I'm just trying to help you out here. That's good, honey. You don't have to move around too far. Well, you, so, can you see me okay? Yeah, but you're way close up. Okay. I'm just trying to back up a little bit. Well, I'm sorry. We're in Sandy's little studio here, and it's real cramped. Um, see some of Sandy's beautiful work here? A lot of glare on it. Yeah. So I'll move over here. Let them see. A little high boy that I'm working on. Floral and oriental. Yeah. Take a picture of this side over there. Yeah, there you go. Okay, well, okay, so what I'm going to be doing here, I'm sending you two different materials here, okay? In this big can here, it says Valspar, Grain Tone, Dark Cherry, you know, and this is a stain, okay? Now, you just want to shake this up really good and stain your table with it. Um, this is a, a reddish color stain. So, I, you know, depending on it, how red your table is, if your table seems to be pretty red, um, you know, you can, you can kind of like wipe a lot of the stain back off. Um, so just take the red stain first, you know, strip the table, sand it, and then stain the table. And it doesn't hurt to have a brush. This one's too small. Get like a two-inch chip brush. And after you stain the table, you know, you can kind of brush it back out. Um, and what that will do is, can you see that pretty good, Sandy? Mm-hmm. This is just a little piece of maple. It's not cherry. This is the natural color of the maple. Now this Hold is... Hold it up near you. I don't know if you're going to see it very well. This is the color of the, um, of the stain. Take a picture of these over here. Can you see that pretty good? Mm-hmm. Or not? Yeah, just, yeah, just get focused in on the color. That's kind of... Let's focus on the color someplace. That's kind of almost the color of what you're trying to get on your table. So, okay, back to get... Back over here and then... So what we got is first you're going to stain it with the stain. And second, I'm going to give you this little container here. It's going to have glaze in it. Now glaze is meant to go after you stain your, your piece and you, and you put your varnish on it. Let your varnish dry and then lightly sand it with a, a real fine uh, paper. Like 80? No, 80 is real rough. Oh, okay. Yeah. A real fine uh, finishing paper. 180? Yeah, or even a lot finer than that. You know, just a fine finishing okay. paper. Okay, and then this We is... don't have any sponges around here, do we? Nope. Okay, and then this is a glaze. Now, this glaze is actually uh, Van Dyke Brown. It's a very... It's a brown color. It's a nice, pretty... Can you see that pretty good? Mm-hmm. It's a nice, pretty brown. Mm-hmm. What you're going to do, now glaze is meant to go, it's like a stain, but it's meant to go in between coats to finish. So what you're going to do, after you stain it with the stain, and you let it dry, and you put your varnish on it, or your top coat, whatever you're spraying it with, you, var you varnish it, or lacquer it, whatever, let it dry, lightly sand it with a sanding sponge, or some fine sanding paper, like uh, 320. Okay. Then you come back with your glaze. Now your glaze, this is where you're going to get your brownish look. Because you've got your red look underneath it already. This is your brown with the glaze. Now why you put, once you put your glaze on it, you want to use a couple of nice soft little, little uh, rags. And use one rag to put the glaze on. The second rag you come back with, you, you stroke it until you kind of get the desired amount of glaze left on there that you'd like. And then, I don't know where my little brush went that I just had right here a second ago. Um, it was just there a second ago. I was showing it to him. I can't help you, Bruce. No, no, you can't. But anyhow, I probably put it in my pocket. That's where it went. Hmm. After you put your glaze on, you tone the whole table half with your glaze to the desired amount that you want on it and then you take your brush and you brush it in the direction of the grain back and forth 
just like that. Sometimes you have to take your uh, glaze brush and wipe it on a clean rag. Here we go. Here's a little rag, see? Now, so basically, you just kind of tone it back to the color you want, and then you brush it with the brush in the direction of the grain, and that gives you a, a secondary color. Can you see the difference between this and I'm that? trying to focus properly, but there's a lot of glare in the position that you're trying to move, the, move it up. That's any better? What about over here? That's better. Right there. You can see the difference over here between this half that's just stained and then when you put the second half with the glaze. Alright. So once again the glaze is meant to go over the top of a coat of finish and then you coat over it again. And then you just take your brush and you brush it just like that and there you go. Then instead of having you know that pure reddish color you've got the brown over the top and that gives you the effect that'll bring you closer to what you have over here yeah, yeah that's see, better yeah you see how that is mm-hmm you see the difference between yep. this half here that's yep. just, and now if and I would yeah and if I would have had some lacquer here in an aerosol can I would have sprayed that but mm -hmm. so there you go so once again we're gonna be uh, sending you now this glaze is uh, just about it's about halfway full of glaze, okay. So, and the glaze is a second. The first treatment is your stain, which is right here, and the second treatment is your glaze. The glaze is brown, and then a top coat yes. between it, I, which you weren't able to demonstrate because we don't have any. Well, yeah, here you, right you now. You put the stain on it. You coat Clear it coat out. It. Sand it. Then you put the glaze on, let the glaze dry for maybe an hour, not even that, 45 minutes. And then you put another couple coats of your finish over the top of it. And then lightly sand it from that point again and put a few more coats on it and then you're done. Um, if you find that you, you put the glaze on it and it's not brown enough for you, just put one coat of clear over the top of that and then very very lightly sand it and then put some more glaze on it um, and you're you're going to want to have to strip the other half of that table down because you're not going to be able to match one side to the other uh, it's just not going to happen because I finish all the time and I never try to do one half of a table because one side ages the old material on it fades um, you just want to do both sides at one time but if you're a little leery about getting the color, well then just take some of this material here that I gave you and um, try a little bit of a, on a board at first until you get it, you know. But uh, you, could, you could see the difference here between this is the color of the wood. The stain is kind of a, almost a black cherryish color. And then the, uh, the glaze over the top of it, the glaze is very brown. You can see the color of the glaze right here. Can you see that pretty mm -hmm. good, honey? Yep. Yeah, right there, pretty good. You know, so, um, yeah, so that, that's basically it. So, um, practice on a board for a second. You don't have a whole lot of glaze there. I gave you enough to do a tabletop. Um, so, uh, I'm running low on glaze or I would send you some more. But you got plenty of stain. The stain is an oil-based stain. If you're finding that the stain is too dark for you overall you could take some mineral spirits and add it into the stain and stir it up and that will make it uh, thinner uh, it won't be so concentrated because you you know you'll have uh, some mineral spirits in that stain and so it won't be as thick which means it's going to be thinner which means that you'll be able to control your color a little bit more but um you know once once again you know i'll send this little step set uh, panel board here with you too and you can kind of see the difference in what it looks like as it progresses too so all right i'm gonna pop this stuff out in the mail for you here and then you'll probably be getting it in a day or two hopefully this helps you out thank you mm -hmm.